look, I get goosebumps just talking about it. All this excitement due to the start of the final College World Series to be played in Omaha. We left New Orleans yesterday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I got here at 7 o'clock this morning nonstop, and I haven't stopped yet. Armin Michelle traveled to Omaha to check an item off of his bucket list. And the fact that LSU is not in this series has led him to find new teams to root for. I'm going to look for a South Carolina, Florida. He isn't the only one with predictions. It seems that everyone is rooting for someone different. TCU! 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 Clemson? I don't know. There's a lot of good teams. And the first baseman for the Clemson Tigers feels the excitement. This is, this is a pretty incredible experience so far. I mean, it's amazing just being out here and all the fans coming up to you and wanting your autograph. And just stepping out of that field is something that's just amazing, you know? Opening ceremony celebrations include a live concert, autograph sessions with the teams, and plenty of fan fest entertainment. However, one thing is on everyone's minds as the series kicks off. The end of 60 years of baseball played at Rosenblatt Stadium. The series will move to a new downtown location next year. Being part of the, the last year here is something really special. and It means that much more to be here and, and be a part of just the wrapping up of what's been just an incredible 60-some years here. So. There's nothing wrong with the stadium, but Omaha and the NCAA have struck a deal and stuff, and I wish them nothing but the best, and it's going to be great for the city and everything. At Rosenblatt, Jordan Shefty, KETV News Watch 7.